Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on LCLY. We have been working on turning this batch of compost into potting soil and today we're going to finish it up by adding the last ingredients. So let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. This batch is really coming along nicely. If you'd remember from a previous video when we added the beneficial nematodes, now that they've gotten a chance to kind of do their work, we're ready to add all of the soil additives like perlite and all of that fancy stuff. So then finally after that, we'll be able to get it bagged and start selling it as potting soil. So without further ado, let's get to adding some of this fancy stuff. Perlite, maybe we'll do that first. We have, I think, four bags like this. Uh, potting soil needs a lot of perlite, so we'll be adding quite a bit. Perlite is a mined volcanic rock, so it is considered natural, and it really improves the soil structure by basically providing aeration to the soil. One bag down. <laughs> this stuff is pretty light. Now for the second bag. A great thing about perlite is it can actually hold three to four times its weight in water, which is kind of insane. Next up is one of my favorites, which is kelp. I love kelp. It's a great natural fertilizer. It's just loaded with minerals and nutrients. Kelp is a marine algae and just seaweed is great for everything, for people, for plants. So we're gonna go ahead and add a bunch of this stuff. Gonna try and spread some of this stuff out. We'll mix it in afterwards really good. We are also going to be adding some bone meal. We actually got fish bone and um, yeah, I think that this should be enough in here. And so bone meal is a great source of phosphorus and calcium. And phosphorus is what you need to get big and beautiful blossoms and fruits. So this is going to be really important for any vegetables or flowers, honestly. It's just good all around. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this in. Make sure to spread it around as good as possible. <laughs> and lastly, we're going to be adding some green stand. This stuff is really freaking heavy. Not like perlite, I'm just gonna put it down for right now. I did not add any green sand in last year when I made my potting soil. So I'll be curious to see how it works this time. It is kind of pricey. Apparently it's in high demand. It's used for stuff like water purification. So I don't necessarily think the demands for soil additives, but um, pretty crazy stuff. Anyhow, it's really great for basically breaking up dirt clods and just creating a nice smooth soil. I don't know if smooth is really the right word, but it, it really helps break down dense um, pieces. So this is what's going to create a nice, uh, just consistent soil. And like I said, I didn't use this last time, so I'll be curious to try it out this time. And this is what it looks like. A lot more coarse than how I thought it would be. The stuff that we've put in our, uh, used in our greenhouse was a lot more fine. Maybe it's just the stuff on the top though. We'll see when we dump it in there. 
All right, here it goes. Well, that is it for all of the stuff we're adding in. Now we have to spend a lot of time trying to work this into the mix. And so let's go ahead and grab the tractor and get started on that. Now, that tractor did not do a very good job stirring it, so we're actually going to get the John Deere over here with the skeleton bucket and really sift it around. Stirring it just takes a lot of time. The more time you take, the better it's gonna be, honestly. So we're going to just stir the hell out of this thing, and then we can finally get some of it bagged. And hey, it's what, still the beginning of April. So we're good as far as planting season goes, and we should be right on time. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time.